Hi everyone, for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my True Velvet Lip Colors from Lisa Eldridge. Look at that, aren't they pretty? And that's only the packaging. So, um, if you've been following me on my channel, um, you would have seen in my previous video, um, it was a vlog post and I actually did an unboxing of my most recent orders from Lisa Eldridge and I can't believe that I have them with me right now because you know, I have just been looking at this for the longest time through other people's videos, through photos on the internet and also on posts on Instagram. So I am so excited to finally try out these things for myself. I have been very intrigued by it. I also showed you guys in my vlog that I also purchased two of her luxuriously decent lipsticks and her lip glosses and um, also this like uh, midnight blue velvet pouch but I'm not going to include those particular products from Lisa on this video because I fear that it might be too long if I put them all in one video. So I'm going to make a separate video for those other products. So for this video, all we're going to do is we're going to talk about her true velvet lipsticks sticks now I do have to say that I tried to shoot this video yesterday but I stopped a few minutes into it because the weather wasn't cooperating but today the Sun is out although it's peeking out of the clouds and because of that um, you'll occasionally hear like some electric machinery going on or people hammering stuff or sewing stuff because they're taking advantage that um, rain isn't pissing down so that will be our ambient sound for today in including some of the chickens crowing because they're just so happy that it's not wet today. So for this video, I'm going to be showing you swatches on my arm and I'm also going to be doing some lip applications because I haven't really tried these lip colors on my lips yet. Well, except for one, but we'll get into that later. And um, I'm just going to give you guys my observations and my realizations with her True Velvet lipsticks. So I ordered a total of six lipstick colors from her True Velvet collection and three of those colors actually came in a set and that was her True Red Velvet collection that came in a red pouch like this. And the other three colors that I got are like a mixture of different colors. It's one is a nude, one is a pink, and one is a very nice, vibrant, midnight, berry looking color. Now all of her lipstick come in a packaging like this. It's like a very nice cardboard packaging. And this is how all the four sides of Lisa's packaging look like. On one side, we have her logo here, that letter L with lips and a mole. Very cute. It's actually printed on top of this like um, almost like a gold foil kind of a print. It's very chic. I actually love it. And then if we flip to the other side, we have her name here, which is embossed in gold and printed um, on top of the um, white packaging. And then if we flip it again to another side, we have um, the same gold foil print here and her true velvet lip color is printed in white. And on the other side, we have the ingredients list. And we also have like uh, the, des the designation where this was made. So this is made in Italy. It has 3.5 grams of products and it has an 18 month shelf life. Now while I was actually playing around with her packaging, I have realized that at the very bottom of the packaging here, there's some, there seems to be like a code. So this might be a batch code. And out of curiosity, I also check the lipstick that accompanies the packaging and I have realized that the code at the bottom of the packaging is also the code that is also embossed here at the very bottom of the actual lipstick packaging. How cool is that? And I do like that um, as a fact because if you are into like luxury makeup or like mid-range makeup products, you would have observed already that there are batch codes at the very bottom of the packaging. Um, of the products that you purchase and um, I think that's just a great indication that you have a legitimate product in your hands. Now um, her lipstick comes in a very nice gold packaging like this, very chic looking and her monogram is at the very top and the label is at the bottom. Now um, what I love about this is that the packaging, the cap slides over and I love the sound that it makes. It sounds very secure and I love that it's actually magnetized so the cap doesn't get dislodged um, when you're, you know, the lipstick is moving around in your bag. Now, I also do love that you can actually just use one hand to dial up the bullet and it's a very smooth type of dialing up and I really love that because not all lipsticks are made equal like this in terms of packaging, I do have to say. Now, um, 
The design of the lipstick bullet is the very same design as any regular lipstick and what makes it special is that I'm sure if you are a Lisa Eldridge fan you would have already seen um, the wonderful um, texture that surrounds the bullet. I really do hope that I am able to capture the velvet texture that you see that surrounds the entire bullet. Let me try to see if I can zoom in. Okay, so I think you can see it here and I find this to be a very amazing type of design and um, I think we already know right now that Lisa explained that she, um, her manufacturer actually created a different kind of molding for this. Now when I first saw this lipstick when it was initially released and I was just like you know perusing through the internet um, I was like very um, intrigued by the design because I initially thought that the entire bullet was actually covered in like some sort of like a velvet cloth and the lipstick product only came out of this like area where this has like this teardrop design here but um, I have since um, <laughs> realized that the entire bullet is actually a lipstick and the texture that we see on the sides of the lipstick was actually made by the molding of the lipstick during production how cool is that all right so now i'm going to show you guys swatches of the colors on my arm and i'm going to start by swatching the true red velvet collection and then after that i'm going to swatch the three other colors that i got from her all right so let's swatch these three and i'm going to start by swatching the color velvet morning it's a very nice orangey red, very nice color. The next color that we have here is Velvet Ribbon. It's a very nice neutral red, but it leans towards a much more bluer red. So let's watch that here right beside Velvet Morning. Ooh, that's a very nice color, I have to say, very pretty. And the next color that we have here is Velvet Jazz. It's a very nice moody red, very blue, very pretty. It has like a hint of like brown on it as well. Very pretty. So it looks very vintagey. Reminds me of like the color from the 30s. And look at that. Isn't that so pretty? So this is Velvet Morning, this is Velvet Ribbon, and this is Velvet Jazz. Now I do have to say that it's the first time that I'm actually swatching these and using these lipsticks, but they look very creamy on my arm right now. And look at the pigmentation and the opacity of these lipstick products. Looks promising. Okay, let's try these three other babies. And the first color that I have here is the name called Velvet Beauty. It's a very nice pinky tone. Oh, that's a very lovely color. It's more mauve. It has like a very cool undertone to it. Very lilac-y pinky. It's a very nice color, very flattering. It works very well with my skin tone. I love this. And the next color that we have here is called Velvet Carnival and it's this very nice retro pink color. Ooh, this is a very, <gasps> it broke. Okay, let me try to see if I could salvage this. I think I need to contact customer service. Anyway, and the next color that we have here is Velvet Midnight. And it's this very nice like black currant color. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? These are amazing colors. I love this. So this is Velvet Beauty. This is Velvet Carnival. And this is Velvet Midnight. And as you guys seen, my Velvet Carnival actually broke uh, mid-swatch. And I did contact the customer service from Lisa Aldridge and they were very kind enough in actually sending me a replacement, which was actually great um, because um, I was actually quite surprised that that happened. But, um, you know, it's a product, so these things can happen. But, I didn't, but I'm just so glad that the customer service of Lisa Eldridge is so excellent and they do a very nice way of actually, like, you know, making their customers feel that they matter and that's one thing that I appreciate about her brand all right before we do some lip swatching I'm gonna put on some foundation first so that we just eliminate the green cast that my beard is showing on my skin now I'm not gonna put on a very thick layer of foundation because I can hear thunder rumbling and 
putting on a very thick layer of foundation takes some time. So uh, I'm just going to try to minimize the color and then um, hopefully that will help in showing the true colors of her lipstick on my lips. Alright, so I've adjusted my lighting a bit because the sun suddenly disappeared and I am a little bit stressed because I'm scared that it's gonna, the rain's gonna start pouring down, but hopefully it won't. And because of the change of the light, I found that my skin started to look very, very pale. So I just decided to add some very warming bronzer so that I just don't look like I don't have life and color on my skin. So anyway, so what we're going to do is that I'm going to be swatching her true red velvets first and I'm going to be using a brush for this and the main reason why I'm using a brush for this and I'm not applying the lip color straight from the bullet is because I don't want to contaminate the lipstick bullet with you know like my saliva or bacteria or whatever and because um, these are the only products that I have of her and I'm going to be using them for work so Basing on that, um, I'm going to be using brushes anyway, so it's going to be great for us to see how, whoa, <laughs> the lipsticks apply with a brush. But um, if you want to see how well pigmented and how um, opaque these lip colors are, please go and visit Lisa's website or visit her YouTube channel. I'm going to try to put a link down below to her extensive video about her lip velvet so that you guys can see that for yourselves but anyway so let's start with the lipstick application so let's start with the color velvet morning and i'm just gonna load the color here onto my spatula and this is what i'm going to do with all of the other lipsticks that i'm going to be swatching on my lip today so i can see just by spreading and loading the color into this brush that this is a very creamy texture and for sure this will glide effortlessly on the lips. This is a wonderful orangey red, um, although it registers on the camera to be very orange on me and maybe that's because of the yellow undertones of the orange pigment on the lipstick and it's like going very well with my skin tone and it's really like you know enhancing my skin and being cohesive with my skin so um if you are someone who is much more maybe have lighter skin tones than i than i have um this would be perfect for you as well but for me this is not like as on a personal taste by the way um i do not really like wearing reds with a lot of yellow pigments in it because i feel that it washes out on my skin i prefer to um wear blue tone reds more on myself than yellow tone reds one thing i have observed with her true velvet lipsticks is how opaque the colors are when you apply it and this is actually great especially if you are someone who has very dark lips like naturally dark lips and you have trouble finding lip colors that can like you know cover that dark lips and just create a very nice um well-balanced full coverage color on the lips because like you know i do have some pigmentation on my lips and sometimes if i'm using a very sheer lipstick or matte lipsticks that do not have this type of coverage you can really see my natural lip color coming through but with this it's not it's a very even coverage very even color application and it's a very vibrant lip color this is amazing i have to say <laughs> all right so this is how velvet morning looks fully swatched on my lips all right so i'm gonna remove this now and head to the next lipstick color and the next color that we have here is velvet ribbon 
and let's see how well this registers with my skin tone. So this is Velvet Ribbon. It's a very nice neutral blue leaning red. It's very beautiful. It really elevates my skin tone very well. And like, you know, one thing that I have realized with her lipsticks is that if you are very adept in putting on lipstick with a brush, like, you know, you can even use this to enhance your lip. You don't have to use a lip liner if you just want to create a very nice shape on your lips very nice look at this color so this is velvet ribbon and the next color that we have here is velvet jazz and this is velvet jazz so it's a very, very blue tone red, very moody. And I really thought when I first saw it at the bullet, um, before I swatched it, that it had some brown pigments on it. But maybe it might have, but a very minute color, but it has more blue than anything else. And I love that like, you know, it's very vintagey looking, very 30s, jazzy, as the name indicates. And I really love also how well it works with my skin tone and it just like really works well with the yellow undertones of my skin and it, they're like they're they're complementing each other extremely well and for sure this will work with people who have even deeper skin tones than i do this will just really like really complement that and just like work in synergy with their skin i love this lip color mm, look at that i don't want to remove it this is a very nice color i like it Mmm, very pretty, very pretty. All right, so those are three true red velvet lipsticks swatched on my lips. I love them, very opaque, very creamy, very easy to apply. It was simply amazing. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the three other colors that I have and we will be starting with the color Velvet Beauty. Alright, and this is Velvet Beauty. I love the tone of this lipstick. It is one of the colors that I gravitate to when I am looking for um, movie lipsticks. It has a very nice blue undertone to it. Again, um, as you guys can realize that this is the kind of lipstick colors that I actually like to wear on myself. And if that is the case, I also like using it on uh, on my clients or on actresses that I work with because, you know, we usually have the same undertones here. But this is a very nice wearable lip color it's a stark difference from the true red velvets because you know this is much more subdued much more jolly and light and it is a perfect lip color to use like on a very nice like you know relaxing day when you don't want to be vampy or sexy and again as you guys can see like you know it really covers evenly throughout the lip very beautiful love this all right, and the next color that we're going to try is the color Velvet Carnival. Now, I can't show you the bullet because I transferred it to a different packaging because it doesn't stand up on the lipstick tube anymore, but there's still some color left here um, on the tube. And let's swatch it. So this is Velvet Carnival. It's a very playful, vibrant pink, very retro pink in my opinion. And I love that it's actually, it has a nice blue tone to it. It doesn't have a lot of like that white chalky kind of pigment, which um, can be quite, mm, 
unflattering on the skin or on the lips because the white just doesn't really do anything for you but with this one it's very vibrant and look at that it just looks so wonderful like especially on people who have yellow undertones you can really see how this lipstick pops from the lips so if you are feeling like you know bright and happy and you know festive for the day you can actually wear this color so when i was actually swatching the lipstick on my arm yesterday it broke off mid swatch um, because i had so much product left on the bottom of the tube here um, i actually wore this lipstick the entire day here at home so i ate with it i worked out with it i drank coffee with it and i am so happy to say that um, the lip color stayed true on my lip now um we all know by now that Lisa's True Velvet lipsticks, um, they are long wearing. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are transfer resistant because there will always be some transferring, for example. You can see some of the lipstick transfer to my um, hand here, but it's a very light transfer. And you know, I don't mind this and I'm actually quite happy that there's, it, it doesn't really dry down to a very stiff matte because I don't like matte lipsticks like that. And because I wore this the entire day, this was when I realized that this was quite an elastic matte lipstick. So it really goes well with the movement of your lips because there are some matte lipsticks out there that when you wear it and like, you know, um, after quite a while, you see that your lips start to like, you know, tighten and then the lipstick color starts to crumble and it starts to become patchy on the lips. I did not see that with her lipsticks. Now, one thing I also appreciate about her lipsticks is that it is very comfortable on the lips. If there's anything that I don't like about matte lipsticks, I do not like the tightening feeling that I feel with it. And I do not like the after effects of those kind of lipsticks. So, um, for example, I wore this the entire day yesterday and then I removed them at night with um, virgin coconut oil and the next day when i woke up by the way i did not feel that my lips were tight or it did not feel that my lips was stressed because that's always what happens when i wear a matte lipstick i always feel the after effects of it the day after and i really don't like that like you know that very tight feeling that very um, uncomfortable feeling and when that happens i just usually get a lip balm on and i just like use a lip balm all day but with her lipsticks I have to say I woke up today very with my lips very comfortable. It didn't feel sore. It didn't feel that it went through a very matte tightening kind of a, of a formula and I do appreciate that. And um, truthfully, this is a very nice lipstick to have in my kit because after all, I work again in film and TV and we really like, you know, work for long hours at a time. And um, I could say that you can actually build the color to the in intensity that you want, especially when um, the color starts to fade after you ate or drank water. But, um, you know, the color stays consistent throughout the entire day. And if this is the case, this is actually good value for your money. And this is actually worth the price. Uh, and by the way, um, the dry down on her lipsticks, um, it's not immediate because there are some matte lipsticks that as soon as you apply it, you just feel it like, and I don't feel that with her lipsticks. It's a very comfortable dry down and it's a very comfortable sensation on the lips. And I think that's one of the best features of her True Velvet lipsticks. All right, and the last True Velvet lipstick that we're gonna swatch today is her color Velvet Midnight. And I am so excited for this. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, can't wait to try this. Mm, I love this lip color. Look at that. Mm, I love it. It's a very nice, vibrant black currant color. And I love how it is so even when you apply it on the lip. Look at the color opacity of this, guys. Look at this. Isn't it so pretty? Now, the reason why I am enjoying this so much is because there are some lipsticks um, in the market right now that are attempting to create a lip color like this and 
I have noticed that they add some brown and gray tones to it and that's one thing that I don't like because it makes the lips look dead but with this one it's a very vibrant color you can see like you know how wonderful the blue tones come out look at that it's making like you know it's even like making my skin color um, look elevated it's just making my skin color pop out and I really love that and one thing also I forgot to mention earlier that I have noticed with the True Velvets of Lisa is that it is not a flat kind of a matte. It's not, it doesn't have a chalky appearance and it doesn't have like that powdery type of um, residue that some of those matte lipsticks leave, um, which I uh, truly appreciate because um, I really don't like that feeling of that like you know that powdery substance on top of the lips like after a lipstick has dried down but with this one it's very matte it's very hydrated but it's very opaque and oh my god i can't stop raving about this and i love this color there's one other actress that i know will also love this color and i can't wait to try this on her and um i just find it so amazing i love this color immensely like if i want to feel like you know strong and powerful and vampy i would wear something like this so if i'm wearing this lipstick maybe i'm gonna add for sure i would like wear this with a very nice like you know strong smoky eye or a very nice defined eyeliner look and one thing that we have to remember also if we are wearing this kind of a lipstick it's very important that we have to have a little bit of some blush on just so that you know it doesn't feel that we're too pale because sometimes strong lip colors like this tend to make you look very washed out so let's just add a little bit of some blush and of course i'm using lisa's blush in mountain walk the, her very very toned um, blush color just so it's cohesive with the lip color and i really think that this lip color and blush combo will work very well for the fall season Oh, look at that. I love this. Just add a little bit of color on the lids with whatever is left on the brush. Mm. So this is Velvet Midnight. Alright, so that's it for me today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video of me swatching my very first True Velvet Lipsticks from Lisa Eldridge and I think I'm gonna be a fan for life. I'm already a fan. Her products are well thought of, they are well formulated and most of all her customer service are. So if you guys have any questions about all of the lipsticks that I use today, please leave them down at the comments box below and let's have a conversation about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're having a good day wherever you are. Bye! How cool is that? The magnet on the lipsticks actually like, you know, um, attract each other or you can even like push it around. It's so cool. <laughs> I can spend hours doing this anyway.